Hello children, welcome back to the next session. In the last video, we have seen about air. That is the components of air, the properties of air and different uses of air. Isn't it? Now, in this video, we will discuss the breathing mechanism and the topic air pollution. Okay. So, let's begin with breathing mechanism. As we all know that living beings, they need air to breathe. Yes? And all the living organisms, they have a definite organ for breathing. Take the example of fish. Okay? They have gills for breathing. Isn't it? Then insects, they breathe through the small pores which are present on their body. And do you know what these small pores they are known as? They are known as spiracles. Okay? Then human beings, they have a definite breathing organ. And what is it? It is the lungs. You all must have heard about lungs. Yes? So, where is lungs present? Lungs is present in the chest cavity. This cavity where the lungs is present, it is known as chest cavity. Okay. So, different organs associate together and they help in this breathing mechanism. So, now let's see how this breathing takes place or what are the different organs associated in this breathing process. Okay. This is the human respiratory system, okay, which includes different organs. Now, first, the organ which is associated with breathing is the nose. As you all know, we inhale air through the nose, isn't it? The air is inhaled through the nose which passes through this windpipe. Windpipe is also known as trachea, okay. Then the air, the, this windpipe, it divides into two parts. As you know that we have two lungs which is present on the either side of the chest cavity. Isn't it? So this windpipe, it divides into two parts to enter on the either side of the chest cavity. The part where this windpipe divides, it is known as bronchus okay then this bronchus it extends and enter into the lungs the lungs has very small air cavities which is known as alveoli where the air is filled okay now below this chest cavity a muscular band is present which is known as diaphragm and diaphragm it separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. So, this is the structure of human respiratory system. Okay. Now, let's see how the breathing mechanism takes place. Now, breathing, it includes two steps. That is inhalation and exhalation. Okay. Now, inhalation means the process of intake of air, it is known as inhalation. And the process of giving out air, that is known as exhalation. Okay. So, during inhalation, what happens? The rib cage. Okay. Now, what is a rib cage? So, the bony, the framework of bones which protects this lungs, they are known as ribs okay and the cage like as it is present in a cage like structure so it is known as rib cage okay now what happens during inhalation the ribs it moves upward okay and this diaphragm it moves downward when the ribs move up and the diaphragm moves down the space of the chest cavity it increases Okay, and the air which is present in the surrounding, it enters into the lungs. So, this is inhalation process. Okay, 
and what happens during exhalation the diaphragm it moves up and the rib cage it moves down okay so what happens the space of the chest cavity it decreases which makes the air go out which pushes the air to move out okay so in this way the breathing mechanism takes place or the breathing process takes place now the air which we inhale that is rich in oxygen and the air which we exhale out which we give out that is rich in carbon dioxide okay so hope so this breathing mechanism is clear okay so now let's start with air pollution so what do you mean by air pollution the mixing of unwanted toxic substances in the air which makes the air dirty that is called air pollution okay and that polluted air it is very very harmful for us it is very very dangerous for us now let's see what are the causes of air pollution or how this air gets polluted first point air gets polluted by the smoke and dust of factories okay you all must have seen from the factories the dust and smoke comes out so what happens it get mixes with the air and thus the air gets polluted or becomes polluted okay second thing the smoke which comes out of the vehicles okay from two wheelers and four wheelers okay the smoke which comes out of the vehicles that gets mixes with the air and that is and that makes the air very very poisonous okay third thing burning of the fossil fuels such as coal wood okay you must have observed also by burning of coal and wood what happens it creates a lot of smoke isn't it which gets mixes with the air and it leads to air pollution so these are the three main causes of air pollution okay next is what are the consequences of air pollution consequences means what are the effects of air pollution so first point the harmful effect of pollution air pollution is it leads to so many health hazards okay when we intake that polluted air what happens we get asthma we feel difficulty in breathing sometimes at this throat part it gets choked up yes or no irritation in the eyes burning sensation in throat so all these happens due to air pollution okay then the second point is the effect of air pollution is it leads to the depletion of ozone layer as we all know that ozone layer it is the protective layer yes or no but due to air pollution continuously it is getting depleted okay and because of which the harmful ultraviolet radiations which are coming from sun it is not absorbed by the ozone layer because of its depletion so straight away those harmful radiations from sun they enter into the earth surface okay and because of which a heating effect is caused and that heating effect of earth's atmosphere is known as global warming okay so these are the effects of air pollution now what are the different ways to control air pollution so there are so many ways okay first thing we should plant more number of trees a forestation should be encouraged okay in order to stop this air pollution more number of trees should be planted every year clear second thing in place of fossil fuels we should use lpg that is liquid petroleum gas okay and 
we can just uh, by doing regular servicing of the vehicles we can minimize this air pollution to a great extent okay so by following all these rules we can save our environment we can prevent our atmosphere our air from getting affected or polluted so these are the different ways by which we can stop air pollution or we can bring down this air pollution level okay so hope so these topics are very clear to all of you in the next video i'll start with a new chapter okay till then bye bye take care be safe thank you for watching